So many people are going to get this simple math problem wrong. Now, I don't know if it's exactly 90%, but it's going to be a lot of people. So let's test your math skills and see if you are a basic math genius. So without using a calculator, let's see if you can calculate the answer to this problem. So we have 6 divided by 2, and then we have 1 plus 2 inside of these parentheses. Now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the answer at the end of this video when we do all the work because I want to keep this nice and suspenseful. But uh, if you do know the answer, again, put that into the comment section. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, a lot of people are going to get this wrong. It seems like such a simple problem, but why are a lot of people going to get this wrong? Well, let's see exactly why right now. Okay, so once again, we're not going to use a calculator to solve this problem. So I'm going to assume that you know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide simple numbers. So if you could do these basic number operations, well, you should be able to solve this simple math problem. But again, why are so many people going to get this wrong? Well, it all comes down to the order in which they do this problem. So right here, we have addition, here we have division, and then right here, we actually have multiplication. Anytime you have a number outside of parentheses, something like this, two parentheses, five, this means multiplication. So let's uh, take one path here and see if this is, this is the right way to get to the right answer. So let's start right here. So some of you might uh, be thinking, well, I want to start with this addition because I know one plus two is three. All right, so that means our problem now is 6 divided by 2 parentheses 3. So nothing wrong there. 1 plus 2 is indeed 3. So at this uh, step, somebody uh, might say, well, 2 times 3, this is 6. So now I have 6 divided by 6, which, of course, is 1. All right, so 2 times 3 is indeed 6. 6 divided by 6 is indeed 1. So this should be absolutely correct. So did you get one as your answer? Well, if you did, I'm excited to say that I'm happy you found this video because this is wrong. All right, so this is probably the number one reason why people got this problem wrong. They did multiplication right here and not division. All right, so division uh, should be uh, the second step we should have taken here, not multiplication. Now, I'm going to explain this right now, but uh, again, don't feel bad if you made this simple error. Uh, many, many people did. All right, so in order to figure out the correct uh, way to do this problem, we need to understand this little acronym right here called PEMDAS. All right, now, um, this is, of course, an acronym, but it's really a checklist that we need to follow from left to right. And this tells us the correct way to do these number operations. So we're, what we're talking about here from a mathematical standpoint is something called the order of operations. All right, so again, these letters stand for something, but I'm going to give you a little phrase here to help you remember this acronym. And that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This uh, phrase has been around forever. I'm not sure what Aunt Sally did, but uh, we thank her for her contributions to mathematics. All right, so I'm going to walk through uh, PEMDAS here. And anytime you are trying to simplify a numeric expression, you need to be thinking about this expression right here. Now, again, this is a checklist that goes from left to right. So let's uh, take a look at it. So the first thing that we need to do is P. So P stands for uh, parentheses, brackets. Really, it's grouping symbols. So you can see here, right here, we have 1 plus 2. Excuse me. Uh, this is in parentheses. So these numbers are grouped together with parentheses. So P stands for uh, parentheses, brackets. You can even have these type of squiggly brackets like this. So if you have any numbers grouped together, you need to start right there. So obviously, uh, doing uh, this uh, part of the problem first is the correct step. 
So one plus two is three. That was the uh, correct uh, first step, but we made a uh, mistake on the second step. So let's just kind of run through the rest of this here. So after you do everything in parentheses, you're gonna move on to E, and E stands for exponents, but you can think of this as a power. So if you have two to the third power, this little number up here to the top right is called the exponent. This number down here is called the base. So two to the third power means take two and multiply it by itself three times. So if you have any powers or exponents, you're gonna do this next. Now, not every math problem is going to have parentheses or powers, but again, you're just kind of scanning the problem from left to right and seeing uh, if you have any of these situations. So here we have no power, so we can move on to our next step. Now, right here, uh, M, D, A, and S, let me just tell you what these stand for. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. So a lot of you might be saying, oh, I'm going to do multiplication next. So I already said one plus two, because this is in parentheses, was the right first step. Matter of fact, let me kind of write this over here. So six divided by uh, two, one plus two is three. This is the result of taking the correct first step. So at this point, we have multiplication right here, two times three in division. So a lot of people, know this PEMDAS phrase and are saying, uh, they say to themselves, well, the next thing I have to do is multiplication. Well, that is not the way this works. So many, many people confuse this and that's why so many people got this wrong. They kind of remember PEMDAS, but they forget exactly how to use it. And quite frankly, I don't think this is uh, stressed well enough in a lot of textbooks and schools, but uh, let's uh, go ahead and understand exactly how to uh, take the next step here. So if your problem has multiplication and division, what you're gonna do is whatever you see first from left to right. So in other, in other words, if you have division and then multiplication from left to right like this, you're gonna do division first. If you have multiplication, then division like this, you're gonna do multiplication first. So it really uh, depends on what you see what you see from left to right. So again, if your problem has both multiplication and division, at this step, you got to do what you see first from left to right. And you can see right here, what we have first from left to right is division. So that's why we have to go, uh, we have to take that 6 divided by 2. That, of course, is 3, and we're left with 3 times 3. So the correct answer is 9. All right, so again, the secret to doing these basic math problems uh, correctly is to know the order of operations. So that is PEMDAS. Now, uh, if you wanna practice more of these types of uh, problems, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel. Also, if you need help with basic math, algebra, geometry, or any other level of mathematics, check out my uh, full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.